these songs are awful. They're Mickey's not good. A bad song? It's a bad song, man. It's not that good. I mean, you can say what you will about them personally, but I think that's a certified banger, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I'm the only one underneath the sun who didn't get it. You never felt that way? No, never once. You never dated anybody who you felt had a head and agenda? She, and she put your tender hard in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> you surrendered. Damn, the way he bends words yeah. to his will. It's just <laughs> beautiful. Hard in a blender and still a surrender. God. What's going on? You're listening to Why Should We Care? My name's Andrew Murphy. I'm going to be talking about David Lynch movies. So get ready for that. And let's hear from our friends from Sleeping Bag. That was the best anyone's ever done it. I should just well, do this permanently. Guys, welcome back to Why Should We Care? Uh, I'm your host, Chris Tellez. We are here with uh, also AJ Henderson. Hello, everyone. And of course, uh, we're actually missing Ryan County today. He's, are uh, we missing him? I mean, I'm not, but we, the show is, you, sure. you're derailing me 10 seconds into it because I'm conflicted by that. I'm like, do I miss him? Well, uh, this is what I love about care heads is they care and he's not here. Yeah, I don't even, him. I don't know how, how good Ryan's doing with our audience. I'm sure Josh is working on some analytics to, uh, <laughs> what's, what's the jealous? analytics on, they, they on love Ryan. AJ. They love AJ. Uh, no, yeah. No, they care you guys stop that. It's that modesty right there. <laughs> uh, but guys, thank you so much again for listening. We were out last week, but we are back uh, with uh, uh, an OG guest, uh, the legendary uh, Andrew uh, Doghouse. Dog man, Doggins, Murphy, Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> the Murph dog, Andrew <laughs> Murphy. Thanks for coming back. Uh, that, we're yeah. gonna, of course, be talking about David Lynch films. Of course, um, of course <laughs> cinema. <laughs> but uh, before we get into that, let me just knock out some uh, sponsor uh, info real quick, guys. Anyone who's been listening to this know what kind of underwear we be wearing. We're wearing Heath Sheath. <laughs> We're wearing some Sheath. Uh, go to sheathunderwear.com. Put in the promo code Comedy Frequency. Get 20% off your pair. Uh, guys, um, what could you say about Sheath? They're the only underwear that offers a dual pouch with separate compartments for maximum support and maintenance. For what, AJ? For, for your bits, I guess. For your bits. <laughs> they also have eye catch and wristbands offered in different themes and color schemes for added style. Uh, fabric blend is cool to the touch and provides absorption. And it's 95% bamboo. <laughs> yeah. Good luck finding that with your Hanes. <laughs> And You're not going to get that. And, for, and, and if you have a weird body, just know the stretching fabric sculpts precisely to the body. And your so. body's not weird. Love it. <laughs> and it's not weird. And this is for men and women. Again, go to sheathunderwear.com. 20% off when you enter comedy frequency. And once you slap on a pair of underwear, why not eat some jerky? Yeah, just just jerk the night away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in your sheets. Uh, go to the best beef jerky in the world dot com uh, and enter the promo code WSWC for ten percent off a sweet bag of jerk. Yeah, I know. I know. Like you're looking for jerky that's keto friendly. Well, this is that. Yeah, so there and you go. And that's going to be, know, what is keto it's then? Brother Earl's, What's it's keto? keto friendly, uh, it's smoked to perfection, and it has a long shelf life, so you could put yeah. that jerk off till later, <laughs> but I don't think you'll last. Like, if you come back to it in January, you're like, it's still pretty good jerky. <laughs> And again, enter WSWC for 10% off your next order with jerky, <laughs> with Brother Earl's jerky. We are getting so much better at this. Yeah. Um, you know their motto, jerk it. Jerk guys. it. You're talking about sheath, right? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Brother Earl's. I know yeah, I like, also did. <laughs> well, when you joke. asked that, I got lost. I was like, that no, could go to either of them. Yeah, right? No, because sheath, sheath has like, a little compartment for your jizz as well. It does. You can store it all day yeah. if you want to. You can hold on to it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to pay extra for that. that. You're going to want to put in I the will, promo I code. I will drink this later. <laughs> I've been putting it in totes for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really building up. <laughs> all right, guys. And um, 
We're about to hop right into it. We, um, of course, are missing Ryan. So, well, uh, he's not here. Uh, he's AJ, not here. I stand corrected. Yeah. We're not missing him. But uh, <laughs> so it might. We're on pace to just have the best episode ever, is what I'm saying. Yeah, this and will be um, the best one. So let's get into the daily beat. Mm-hmm. Uh, the daily beat off of some of the Carahans yeah. have. Uh, um, okay, so like last night it. I had this dream. Oh, you're just gonna get right into oh, it. Oh shit! Right. <laughs> where like uh, they pulled the episode where I hosted. SNL off of uh, Hulu because no one watched it. So in the dream, oh. you had already hosted. Yeah, I had hosted. Musical guest was Band of Horses, but they pulled it because no one watched the episode. Well, it might be a Band of Horses thing, not you. Right. That's so how does the band do? It on. Horses got loose in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna Disaster. love you like I just <laughs> pull that shit. <laughs> Is there a ghost in the <laughs> studio? <laughs> His name's AJ. <laughs> But it was a good episode. I had the classic lineup with like Armisen and Hader and like Wig, you know. Like, that was probably the best era. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. I know I was in middle school at the time, but yeah. uh, I don't know that and the Farley one, right? Uh, Keenan, I would Keenan say Sandler, yeah. Farley, uh, Norm. Yeah, Phil Norm. Hartman was there. Yeah. That was uh, probably my favorite yeah. era. But I don't know. Anytime Will Ferrell was there is probably the best because he he's carried the best, that. Cast. He's the best cast member I think of yeah. all time. I, I, Okay, I think he. I mean, best host of all time was AJ in his episode, (laughs) which I would love to see. Check it out. I'll I'll give you guys like uh, a a quick glimpse into that, ladies and gentlemen. Band of horses. Yeah, that sucked. I I don't want to see that that episode. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, they they pulled it. Yeah, yeah, that's why they pulled it. That was gonna be the next Daniel Craig meme. (laughs) Yeah, you know. What about their second (laughs) song? Give us a glimpse into the second song introduction, ladies and gentlemen. Once again. Band of horses. You got to do it like Craig, though, where you go, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> bands of ho- band of horses. Band of horse. Band of horse. Oh, they don't look like horses to me, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you See, go. you wait, like, ladies and gentlemen, band of horse. <laughs> <laughs> it just, that didn't, he doesn't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the fuck these guys are. Horse band. <laughs> horse band. <laughs> Anything else going on with you with your daily beat, Age? Nah, just living my life day, day by day, just doing my thing, you know? <laughs> I don't. Do you have uh, any video games to your Nintendo Switch yet? I did add like the remake of Resident Evil. Hey, yeah. so so I'm, I'm 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 liking that. It's pretty good. It's very hard. I stopped it once it got really hard. And <laughs> by hard, do you just mean scary? And you're alone in your house. No, I can I can I can I handle scary shit. Like, okay, but like but like when the game gets difficult, I just can't do it. Do you have okay, a two diffi- controller? Difficult, sure. <laughs> you're spooked. you you're spooked, man. It's okay. You it's can spooked. carry it anywhere you go, right? No, I'll huh. tell you guys if I'm spooked. Like I uh, spooked the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, but, just because like these zombies keep coming back, like they don't die, and then they get more aggressive, and like I, it's like I'm just like I can't beat this game. That is I how zombies work. Game. Oh man, I want to play. <laughs> can I borrow your Switch for a couple weeks? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> now you got I'm not really playing it all that much. You you could carry it around on a screen too, right? You can. It's how pretty you good. It's pretty it cool. Everywhere you go, is it in your backpack right now? No. That's insane. Yeah, <laughs> I, I carry books with me. But you have a fresh switch. That's, I know. I thought I was going to change my life, and I didn't. Well, that's sad to hear. I, uh, what about you? What's, what's you? What's, yeah, let's move it getting, along. Yeah, let's move it along before I yeah, fucking kill myself. <laughs> what's going on with you? Uh, here I cry. What's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, first of all, I've had a great uh, couple of days. I want to send a shout out to Dallas Comedy Club. I, me and my buddy Ralph Barbosa just did four sold out shows uh, this Hell past yeah. weekend. So much fun. Uh, so massive shout out to them. Um, if you live in Dallas, definitely go check out Dallas Comedy Club. It seems to be the place to go for comedy there right now. Um, and check out Ralph Barbosa. That kid's on fire. And I look forward to riding his coattails to the top. Um, <laughs> also, uh, besides that, man, nothing's been going on. I've just mm-hmm. been uh, trying to keep busy as well. And yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to save up for a switch right now. I almost had your switch for a second. Yeah, because you were I'm giving, still giving s- shit away, man. Why are you giving to your stuff away? That's not a good I don't sign. Know. Just because like it, it's it's not a bad sign. I, I don't know. I'm just like weighed down by like all the shit that I have. I know, Ooh. like physically weighed down, physically but, and mentally. Like, what kind of shit have you been giving away? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I just give away a bunch of clothes to like my. Buddy John. <laughs> well, that that I don't. We're talking about electronics and yeah. stuff not electronics like that. so much. It's it's valuable just like, shit. 
You don't need your air fryer, do you? I now your dumbass band of horses t-shirts. <laughs> Just a bunch of horses on them, running around, playing um, guitar. For years, I thought it was really a bunch of horses that yeah. could sing and play music. I, thought, I, I was, was, like, you I was know, very disappointed when I saw the show them BoJack Horseman. It's just four of them, you yeah. know. That's what I was hoping. But it's just like a bunch of dudes from Seattle. Yeah, yeah. I told AJ, because he was... Um, Posted that he was going to give his stuff away, and I hit him up, and I was like, "You okay?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm okay." I was like, "Then let me get that switch." Right. But then uh, when he was serious, I was like, "Dude, you just bought that." My, uh, there's been t- I've had yeah. game consoles, dude. Just like I said, put that shit away for a while, mm-hmm. and, but one day you're going to have the itch to play it, and you're going to be like, "I'm glad I didn't give that away." Yeah. So hold on to it. I don't know, man. Like, I've okay. So the, this is the third. And if you console, are going to sell, sell it to me half price. This is the third console <laughs> that I've actually just like gotten and just like yeah it just wasn't for me you're not a uh, councilman i don't think i'm a video game guy like when it comes down t- to to the brass tacks of it all mm. that's probably a good thing look at these iheart aj shirts uh, that josh whoa. is looking up for some reason <laughs> <laughs> aj clothing maybe you should start your own fashion we ought to buy one of those for you aj you need a little bit of better self-esteem over oh, there I love AJ. You know would you saying? wear that no i wouldn't wear that you, see, you seem <laughs> down in the dumps <laughs> I'm um, I'm really not. Okay. I've, I've never I've never thought more clear in my life. Oh, okay. Yeah. He yeah. seems right. down in the dumps when he said he's yeah. not. <laughs> not. Things are actually That's starting to. Past you really depression. looked into the abyss when you were describing <laughs> how you're doing fucking, well. Fucking, fucking Murphy, what's your deal? Oh, what's your deal? Yeah. Yeah. Let's Whoa. Get, <laughs> I'm just yeah. trying to help over here. Yeah, what's been going on with you, Murph Doug? Besides uh, bullying AJ, what have Jesus you been up to? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, I love you, dude. Yeah, um, stop that shit. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, let's see. I don't know. I've just been hanging out. I've been working a lot at the old moving job and then trying to do comedy. Uh, What's are we, a moving job? Uh, like it's, move it's, furniture? it's Einstein Moving Company. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, right on. Yeah. yeah. I've been hey. trying to pick up hours there. Yeah, you're back. Uh, I mean, I don't. You never really. I don't think you really like left. left the scene, like you took like months. a little break, yeah, uh, yeah. and now you're back out there. You're one of the prominent comedians here in Austin. Uh, I know. I saw you. The funniest person in Austin is back, and they oh, had yeah. you back hosting it. You're the longest reigning champ, thanks to that sweet, sweet pandemic. Hell yeah, <laughs> baby! Can you it, just ride that credit into the ground. <laughs> How's it feel to? Uh, let me ask you, like. You were here before the pandemic. Uh, you're here post. Uh, the comedy landscape out here has changed. Uh, it's different. How are you feeling about um, Austin comedy right now? And how's it feel to be back out there doing these shows? I think it's cool, man. I don't have like, I, you know, long gone are the days where we were all, or at least I was pissed off about all the changes, mm. all the new clubs yeah. opening up. I'm just, I've kind of leveled out now. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, it's great. All right, <laughs> yeah. more opportunity. It's a little bit more competitive, but. When you think about it, it's like the the clubs and the venues have grown exponentially alongside how many comics live here. So it doesn't feel like it's I'm like fighting for spots. Like yeah, I agree. It was kind of like um when I barely started, it felt different because it was different, and right. I didn't know we were all there was a sense of me personally it was like we were a little territorial. Like wait, what's going on here? You know, and now I'm at the place where I just like doing any venue, any right. room, and. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, all the comics that we're holding out for a minute now pl- performing in this room because everybody's going to yeah. knock it out. Yeah. I hope. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I hope we got to at least. Yeah. Uh, we got to keep the original core alive. I know. I think it's just you and me at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everyone's just quit. <laughs> you, me, and the lizard man, Eric Sprague, and yeah, Eric Copswell. Never going to stop. As it was meant to be, the Beatles. <laughs> the four. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The four Ringos. <laughs> fat four, as they call it. The you. fat four is what they're going <laughs> to Come on, man. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm glad you're back out there. I'm glad you're on the pod too. You're one yeah, of our originals. I know. In the see you again. good to see you. All. In the past, you did uh, the two Jackass movies, and you posted two episodes as well. I think I just did one. I think it was just Jackass just number two. Yeah, oh, really? That was the only maybe one. even when we lived together, I just heard you talk about how much you love Jackass. Constantly. I think at one point, yeah, I think at one point, maybe in the episode, you're like, you just started to talk about like one of the other movies, and I was like, we're not doing that. Yeah, just, just Jackass number two. I don't even. Yeah. The dicks look good in this one. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not talking about jackass four uh yeah i guess that would have been a fun but I, i've said all i need to say about the movies they're just yeah. a good time it's crazy because there is this there is this lost it's episode crazy. with like uh pat Royce where we talk about train spotting too yeah uh oh. we did a few episodes during the pandemic that never were released we're saving those for that sweet sweet patreon once we sucker a bunch of people to listen yeah. to this shit <laughs> Give us your money and we'll give you that episode. <laughs> Edit that part out, Josh. <laughs> uh, but no, we're keep here. Keep it in. 
But we're here today in the present in the post-apocalyptic world, yeah. 2022, uh-huh. and we have a new topic. You're to talk David Lynch films. Oh yeah, and that's works great because I, um, I don't know, I don't really, I don't think I've ever even seen many or any of his movies. Oh, buddy, we've had people on in the past talk about Twin Peaks. I was yeah. actually going to go to the same movie you were going to go to not too long ago. Was that Lost Highway? No. Lost Highway was the last one I saw in the theater. God damn yeah. AFS. So, AJ, yeah. I, uh, that looks like Bob Odenkirk right there, but it, it's not. But uh, AJ. It is. Yeah, it is. That's Girlfriend's Day. Like, that's a movie that he. That is how Bob is Odenkirk? That, how is Lynch involved yeah. in Girlfriend's No, Day? only about 10 of these are. I mean, he might have been a producer on that or yeah. something, but the first 10 are like his movies. Eight and, and a half, of, Sunset Boulevard. These have nothing to do with Lynch. Like, yeah. eight and a half in Sunset hey, Boulevard. Relax, Go see bud, these it's movies. just a Google search. Is that the man? Pacifier 2? <laughs> <laughs> that is actually his film. His best but, film. Yes. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. What made you uh, go with Dave Lynch? Uh, David Lynch, I guess. I don't know if that's a big deal. Let's leave the short naming to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> short naming. I mean, who plays the uh, president of a bitch? <laughs> who plays the president? Now AJ's good. This going this off mic. I'm not even giving you a chance to respond. Just, He's just, like, I don't even want to hear what AJ says. He's like into his own world. You're like a drunk mom at a comedy show. Uh, like, what was the name so. of that movie? I'm like, shut up, lady. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Bill Pullman. Okay, yeah. he's in Lost Highway. AJ, <laughs> can we let Andrew <laughs> go talk? For it, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> You're going off the rails. He's uh, a bit. We're working with him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so all right. I've been on a David Lynch deep dive for like the last three months. It's kind of getting out of hand. I need to and you like move it? on. I love his movies. I already liked a couple of his movies mm-hmm. before, but then I realized there's like four or five I haven't seen. And so I just went front to back, watched them all in a row. Uh, man, he's just, uh, he's a good time at the movies. I know a lot of people, he's got a stigma about him that he's like pretentious maybe, or like his movies are off putting. That's crazy to me. Cause I, I feel like his movies are anything but boring. Like they're so yeah, weird they and like, so bizarre. But, but like, <laughs> well, no, go. I mean, I'm interested cause, uh, well, just like it's, it's, it's uh, it's weird, but it's also paint by numbers. Like, so you what? expect it? That's the dumbest take on David Lynch movies. Like, I'm I sorry, mean, dude. Like, like, I'm glad <laughs> I let you talk, talk, AJ. <laughs> His movies don't even like, like there's the they don't even they're not even sequenced like so, other movies. So Mulholland Drive, I was like, I'm about this. Like, weird film, weird art house, and then like you're just like the guy just falls. No, like that's that's not really an explanation by the way i want to i want to just pause to just say you i love the movie it was going well and then the guy just yeah Yeah, did you stub your toe or something halfway through register your complaints just more so (laughs) that like it was just like the 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 thread keeps like like just pulling on itself and yes that's awesome that's great you keep you keep wondering what's going on and like the answers get harder because it's the answer is gonna be nonsense it's like no 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 see that's another big that's another big misnomer about him that he let that his movies don't make sense it's just a bunch of what's everybody saying nonsense (laughs) it's a bunch of art because i watched it and that's what it was no a lot of people people get it and some people don't yeah, well, that's true. You know, AJ doesn't get it. Yeah, yeah. No, you I do. get it. I understood what I was watching. I just was bored by it. If you want to, I, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess some people find it boring. I think it's so bizarre, and it always you. It, it's that thing that we watch movies for in the first place, where mm-hmm. you just genuinely never know what's going to happen next. Sure. Like I went to see Nope, and like it had that same feeling. I haven't seen it. Just, yeah. So much. yeah, no spoilers. We'll obviously, it it's great though, and like there's this element to it where every scene you just you're completely enthralled. That, by the way, that yes. that dumpster monster, that is the scariest scene in the history of movies. Like, I will stand that? by that. The what dumpster that scene from? from Mulholland Drive, even just looking at this thumbnail right now, it's creeping me out. Uh, it's just a scene in Mulholland Drive that's completely unrelated to the rest of the movie, where they oh. just go and they walk up to it. This guy describes a dream where he sees a monster come out of a from behind a dumpster and he's like and you're in the dream and you know the dream always ends the same way we walk outside we walk up to the dumpster this monster hops out and the guy's like so why'd you call me here today he's like i just want to get over this god awful feeling i want to just walk out there see that there's not a monster Mm -hmm. and so they walk out and like the camera's just going getting closer and closer to the dumpster and then just sure enough the monster just just like come just staring right into the fucking camera dude that sounds good to me it's fucking but it's all right so obviously Obviously, like wait, AJ, what's your qualm with that? <laughs> it's not that good. You're describing movies, by the way. Yeah. Every movie is fake. Every movie so is just a guy in a costume. I would not be afraid of that guy. 
It's I would fucking... give him a dollar. Okay, Have you seen the movie? All, yeah. Oh. If you look at this, then. if you look at the <laughs> thumbnail long enough, obviously you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's a person in makeup. It's the way it's shot. It's the way it's edited, and you sure. only see it for an instant, and it's fucking creepy. So it's watch just, the movie. Yeah. So, like, are you are you saying like every hour of Inland Empire is worth it? Every hour, the all three of them. I think so. There's yes. four <laughs> hours of that movie. Oh, uh, is it a two parter? Uh, or is this one straight no, movie? No, you're supposed to go like see it like on its own. There's a like, three. There's a four hour version. There's a three hour version. There's a direct. I've only seen the three hour version, so I couldn't yeah. tell you. But I don't know if you knew this, uh, Andrew, but AJ actually professionally writes movie reviews on some website. What's the website called? Uh, MovieReviews.com. Have you ever Dude. written a movie review for a David Lynch film? Yeah. Can we see one right now? Sure. I didn't like I that mean, there was actors. Your phone. I didn't like that there was actors playing us. the scary guys. Why couldn't have that been a real thing? Is yeah. that, is that <laughs> it's what so it is? Stupid. I don't like how you're constantly in suspense, not knowing what's going to happen. Why next. am I Woo. so sad? <laughs> you have, I'm sorry, AJ. I love you. You haven't given one single good critique to oh, the shit. David Lynch films. All right, here's AJ Henderson. Rod. Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes. Yeah, look at that. Is that you? Whoa. You're not like that's actually that you? actually you can find me on on Letterboxd. AJ seventy. You remember I have, he? I have, uh, I, have, I, have, I have reviews. He went with seventy because sixty nine was taken. He yeah. said, "Oh man, yeah. Why not go with sixty eight? Why not go with sixty nine hundred? You know, oh, that would have been pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. god damn. <laughs> well, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, right. I'm excited to read some uh, AJ <laughs> David Lynch reviews with well, Andrew. What was it called? I, 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 haven't, I haven't reviewed Lynch. I've reviewed like other. But things. you just. Said I mean, you we're did, having you liar. <laughs> well, I'm having fun. I mean, you're allowed to not like his movies, but I think I don't. Yeah, I, actually, I just actually there's one that I do. like. Don't simmer your aggression. Okay, Murph. let it out. I'm gonna ramp this it up. Dog to bites. A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's the not pound me. is open today, boys. Yeah, he'll be pounding AJ's face in the parking lot after this. I have a feeling I'm gonna lead you astray into <laughs> the woods and kill you. <laughs> is this it? If you don't start turning, no, you changing me. your tune on these yeah, films, yeah. AJ seventy, AJ seventy. Sorry, yeah, AJ seventy seven. That's pretty good. Our right? producer's just high off his rock. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the one. That's that's my profile. All right, so you did the baby count Dracula. Yeah. What else we got? That's it. Did you do a Lynch movie? No, I haven't done like. Oh, a, okay. I thought that's movie, what we were. I like, thought that's what we were doing too. So you did five hundred and forty-seven films. Yeah, well, I watched that. He's man. not even kidding. I, I haven't like. Hey, if you're gonna do it, why not do it, right? I have reviewed all of them. I just rated most of them, but like. Well, let me read your one for Count Dracula. You give it two stars. What exactly is Count? What does Count do? I don't think anyone on set even bothered to ask that. <laughs> What so the these fuck? aren't. <laughs> See, yeah, your gripes are all about like the behind the scenes of the movie. <laughs> Barbed wire with Pamela together. Anderson. It says, I guess I would use the words like problematic or hasn't aged well to describe this film, but I was just too bored watching this to care what was going on. Damn. Yeah. Wow. What's your Silence of the Lambs one like? Who's which lambs are we talking about, and who's <laughs> being quiet over here? Hey, I see AJ. It's all there. literal <laughs> definitions of the movie. Is that Ryan following you on there? Yeah. Damn! Look at that. So, <laughs> so follow this account, I guess. I wonder if he has any reviews. Can we see Ryan's account? Oh, he did the principal. I mean, that's all he put. This is the most <laughs> predictable slate of movies for Count. Right. It's like yeah. The Chris Rock saw a wedding singer. Yeah, they did uh, nobody. Watch this with my dad, and he said, I love you for the first time. So, <laughs> so I'm going to hit it with that five star. No disrespect. Yeah, he might, he might be better at this. At this, did you? Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, he's that just was, more positive. That was yeah. enthralling. Kind of yeah. like a David Lynch movie. Yeah. Okay. Bring uh, it back. Not unlike. <laughs> how many films does David Lynch have? Uh, ten. And uh, how early is the earliest? The first one is Eraserhead. Came out in 1977. Damn. Yikes. Yeah, he's been going at it for a minute. Um. Oh, that other that fucking weird face right there. That's another insane, monumentally scary scene. I think. So does he uh, do horror <sighs> films? Is that the thing? Yeah. Not I, really. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just okay. like, yeah. And it's just like. Not really, because they don't scare me. I mean, they're, they're, they're like, off-putting. Like, they're weird. Like, they invite you into the world. They're haunting. Twisted. They're yeah. haunting. They're nightmarish. They're, there seems I, to be a fashion uh, uh, um But, like, nothing there, horrific people... happens in That's in not true. Alone. That's just not true, dude. Like, yeah, there's there's murder, nothing. there's blood, there's demons, there's monsters. And Eraserhead? Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, his all movies of his movies in general. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, no, Eraserhead. Well, okay, Eraserhead. Right, there right, literally right. is a mutant baby. So I mean, like, yeah. 
that's it it's it is haunting it is um there's a feeling you get of just like dread just like constant dread which again like i know might sound like a insult for some people but i like this feeling of just like oh shit there's like this ominous to- ominous tone the whole time yeah. and you're like oh fuck like it you yeah. get the feeling like at any moment something could hop out something could freak you out like something completely strange and inexplicable could happen so like it's fun and they're fun to watch with other movies. Yeah, or, I'm like, sorry, with other people. You know what I mean? Like, it sounds like uh, going you have into die the film. Hard with you, you have like Jurassic Park. Yeah. You just watch them together. It sounds like you have to go into these films with kind of just like an open mind, yeah. just like be chill, yeah, watch it, and just actually pay attention to the film. Yeah, and also just have a girlfriend at the time because have uh, a girlfriend if I was for sure alone during this. I'd be very depressed. But it yeah, sounds no. like but. Uh, I've watched some with girlfriends. I've watched some alone. It's Since de- the different experiences. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite one with a girlfriend? What's your favorite one alone? That's a great uh, question. Right? Yeah, wow. Uh, favorite one with a girlfriend. Oh, let's. I would go with, I guess, Twin Peaks Firewalk with me, mm-hmm. um, which is like the prequel to the show. And yeah. that's a. We have talked about this on, on another Right. Episode. I know y'all did a Twin Peaks yeah. uh, episode, and I love Twin Peaks as well, but I, I think his movies are better, and I think the Twin Peaks movie is better than anything that the show ever did, personally. Like, I think it's really And the scary. Twin Peaks, uh, the seasons have nothing to do with each other, right? Every, isn't every season different? No, nah, it's the long-running thread, but it kind of completely switches. It, like, changes course. Like, it starts with just this regular procedural trying to figure out who killed this girl and then it oh, like okay. dives into this supernatural underbelly of the town and everything what's the most uh famous david lynch film i would say probably i mean maybe dune just because like people oh, right, love yeah. that oh but that's the newest one right he, with uh no he did charlemagne <laughs> not charlemagne, charlemagne the god, the god. <laughs> yeah, yeah timothy the Chalamet. <laughs> timothy oliphant and uh whatever no it's oh, a, a good actor i love that dude yeah no the he did the dune from the 80s and it's bad it's his only movie that I would say was is bad, and he also has disowned it. So some people maybe, Ooh. but it's got a cult following. Yeah, it looks like a iconic. Uh, right, I've never seen it, but it's not it's not terrible. I'm doing talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, remember when this dude was in the Flintstones? Which one? Him? Yeah. Yeah, he was the boss, right? Yeah. Oh, right. He was always trying to get frisky with Halle Berry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those were some early boners for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I was just getting boners off the ground. That was Mom and Dad, movie. I want to see the Flintstones again. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. D- just to segue, his movies are also like super sexy. There's a lot of like, yeah. I mean, there's a couple movies where I'm like, maybe I shouldn't be watching this with a group of people. Sure. People dress sexy in up. a lot of his films, besides yeah. all the freaky monster looking people. But there's a. <laughs> there, he is. there he is. Kyle McLean's. That's his name? Kyle McLean? This is the hottest Halle Berry's ever been in a movie. Hot take. I think. <laughs> this or Swordfish, I would say. Oh, but, swordfish, uh, yeah. Uh, and the last Boy Scout. But uh, the the short hair shot up, right? <laughs> yes. And not that I'm saying that's beast. how I prefer. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. What's the movie called? Sex Monsters Berry. Balls. Another one. Yeah. Monsters, Monsters Balls. balls. Yeah, 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 Monsters Balls. Oh, that was the breakout uh, sex scene with Billy Joe. Yes. Billy uh, Bob Thornton. Another very well directed. Uh, pornographic film. scene, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's the thing. Like Lynch, it's like if you like the basic tenets of like good blockbuster movies, I do violence, <laughs> right? That's, that's the best. Well, there's more. That's the most gripping line that you've delivered. <laughs> oh, hey, there's more. There's because because he does that. He takes all those things. He takes the uh, sex, violence, drugs, uh, murder. And then he just like kind of messes with the format a little bit. So you're still getting the goods, but it's it's genuinely unpredictable and just it, I th- I think they're fun movies, which is like not something I hear a lot of people say about his movies. It's the underrated quality. They're just like a good time with the movies. They're Would fun. Would you to use watch. the term mind bender? Mind fucker. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. No, I said bender, dude. <laughs> yeah. This movie's a total mind him. fuck. Check it out. Yeah. That's like on your re- re- county's review at the it's, bottom of it. I, I never leave a Lynch film like that. Just mostly, yeah. just like man, like did all of it have to be on there? It. It, it, he is divisive. Some people just don't like his movies or don't get his movies, and that's fine. You know, I knew but, but when I get uh, them. I get them. I, I understand what he's doing. I don't think you do. Think you do. I, I understand like 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 what he meant to deliver, but it's just like, come on. What would man. you say your favorite David Lynch movie is? Okay, Wild at Heart. 
That's a great movie. Well, that's yeah. a good answer, but that's a very like Lynchy Lynchian film. That's what, like a adjective. for people not me, but for people who don't know what that movie is. Okay, so so <laughs> well, let here me finish you have my Nicholas. question. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. What did you like about Wild Heart? Okay, so here here you have like Nicholas Cage. Just Lord my Dern. questions, just <laughs> like like acting to eleven. They're they're just going fucking for it. The soundtrack rules. Everything every That's scene. That's Laura looks Dern awesome. from Jurassic Park. Yeah. Slash Jurassic World Dominion, mm-hmm. which I I know for our there's careheads like, there's, who there's, have been listening. Last night I I finally finished all of the Jurassic World movies. We'll get into that later. It's an ongoing thing that only I care about. Go ahead. I forgot my. You said they were acting to the Elevens and they went for it. Yeah, and it's like it's so (laughs) good. It's so good. Like William Defoe's in this too. Like great cast. Yeah, yeah. You 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 have this like like, picture uh, of her just uh, grabbing his nuts. You have this. Uh, yeah. Is that oh, in the used, movie? They used to fuck. This is the move. No. This is the hottest Nick Cage <laughs> and Laura Dern ever were. Whoa. David Lynch really knows really? how to get. <laughs> he knows how to get actors to their hottest point. Like yeah. he gets hot actors and he makes them even hotter somehow. And that's Wild at Heart's a good example of that. Cause there's just, it's Nick Cage, Laura Dern. There's a lot of fucking. And uh, there's, Whoa. yeah. And then there's just. No wonder AJ likes it. Yeah, I, would, I would give this film a solid 10. Like yeah. it's, huh? it's just really good. It's fun to watch. Like the metal soundtrack is awesome. Awesome. Like they like they have like these instances of like old rock and roll and like there's cool cars. And You're shit. just like it's just all his other work that I hate. It really is. Like this <laughs> is the only one I like. This one he tapped into something that yeah, you no. like. Well, yeah. no, you don't like uh, you don't like Mulholland Drive at all. Like you no, can't understand no. why people call that a masterpiece. Some people I mean, argue I it's the best movie of the decade. But they're wrong. I just okay. Well, no, I mean, there's nothing that's about it that you can even kind of latch onto. That's just your arguing point, though, that they're just wrong. I guess it's, it's, I like it. I like that you're saying that. I, I like the idea that like it's it's just this fever dream that you kind of experience on film. Exactly. But like, but like yeah, I get it, and I still don't like it. Like, Would you uh, say uh, is uh, with his films? Should you be sober when you watch it? Is there like a fun drug you should do when you watch a I mean, David Lynch film? So I've seen them. We went to see, me and a few comics went to see Inland Empire at AFS. And I went in sober and I still walked out just like dizzy from how fucking weird it was. But then I was with like. You I were in all actually, four hours. I think it was, it was only the three hour <laughs> version, dude. <laughs> And okay, so, so and then like we walk out and uh I think Danny Goodwin told me he was on like mushrooms the whole time or something. I was I like that's that's, cr- that's, that's crazy right. to me cuz the, like they're so e- even just one moment in his movies can just set you off on a real bad bad tripsville, I think. Uh so I wouldn't recommend doing any like psychedelics, but yeah, get stoned, you know, have, yeah. have a drink. Take an thing, Adderall. I'll, I'll tolerate yeah. bullshit. I've I've seen Satan Tango in theaters over there. What is that? That's a 7-hour movie from Hungary. Right, so so how are David Lynch movies asking too much of your attention? You you saw a, a seven hour movie. Yeah, yeah this, like when you go into a seven hour movie, yeah. you know you're going into a seven hour movie, oh, well, so you can't really complain when it's over. Who this did? movie's a masterpiece. Everyone should see this movie. Every shot's a painting. It looks cool. Oh man, all right, you lost. Pass. Me I don't watch black and white <laughs> stuff. I don't watch old <laughs> shit. I watch. It was new made in the nineties. It's too old, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Recent and has a billion dollar budget. I just don't watch it. All right, all right, all right, I'll stop. San Tango. Game. They no, really I mean, found a way to yourself. make a movie called Satan's Tango. Boring, huh? Yeah, yeah. Satan's like, Tango. I, I own this shit on Blu-ray. Ever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So shut up. <laughs> More like I'm better at cinema than you are. Huh? Boo Ray. <laughs> he loves cinema. Sucks. See, I like when people do pick a movie because I know AJ is a movie snob, and I mean that in the yeah. meanest way possible. I thought uh, I was, and I'm yeah. like seeing new new depths of movie snobdom uh, right now. Whenever he, whenever I told him you were doing this, and he was like, "Oh, fucking hey, David Lynch," I was like, "Man, this is gonna be a good sod." <laughs> watch these two guys butt heads. Is this keep a poly- Apologizing I mean, for the mean things. To be fair, I'm dominating. You, you still have not. I don't think made a I'm single dominating. good point. <laughs> oh, wait, what did he yeah. say? He said I'm dominating. I'm dominating. Yeah, I'm dominating. If this was a debate, ass. you'd be like they'd have the Apollo cane pull you off the stage. Yo, yes, man. I don't know. Like, like, like your Lynch films. That's fine. Well, oh, don't do that. Oh, I yeah, that. that's totally classified. <laughs> that you're just like caving in. Hate what you hate, AJ, with pride. <laughs> Fuck. David Lynch. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, who's your favorite film director ever, AJ? Oh, it's Quentin I mean, Tarantino, right? 
Tarantino's pretty good, mm-hmm. but like I like I like Bellatar, like the guy we, we just saw, and also like um, um, Michael Haneke. Right. Oh, Do you man, hate that, any that of these guys? Good ass films. Oh no, Haneke's done his the Lobster or whatever. Or no, 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 that's, that's um um uh, that's a different guy. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know Haneke. Uh, but, Spike but, but, Jones. But um, man, <laughs> fucking like Dog Tooth. That's. That's a weird, like, good movie. But I, sub- I lived with a sub- AJ sub- when film. he was watching Dogtooth for like days in a row. It felt like I walked yeah. by and I just saw some gruesome shit on that. No, movie. you watch. You watch the entire thing. With no, me. I didn't. I, did, I watched like did. chunks of it with you. But no, no. Uh, I remember like, like blue I, I, chunks I, I, uh, watching it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, blue chunks. <laughs> this film rolls. I was, should go see it. I, I like Dogtooth. I sat and I like watched Dog a little bit of it. I was sheathing off in the next room most of the time. Just saved my jizz for another day. Here's the thing with Dogtooth, though. It's like a creepy, off-putting movie but that's really enthralling and it's about it's got like an incest subplot that's a mm. david lynch movie twin peaks yeah, firewalk like, with me it stays focused like uh, i think the lynch movies are focused i don't but I sometimes they, yeah. isn't like part of like a the appeal of like a horror movie or just like a twisted film or even like a nightmare you might have yeah. will be like it's going a certain way and then some out of left field creepy shit just happens it throws everything that you knew uh just completely off isn't that what the appeal of a david lynch film yeah could be yeah. like this is twisted I, 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 it looks hip and i'm yet scared is yeah that- it is it does look hip too it just looks like a cool like his his sound design his cinematography is like amazing like i watched lost highway recently that came out in 97 i was like this looks better than a lot of movies that come came out this year see i never saw lost highway but i remember that song a perfect drug by nine inch nails yeah. being on the soundtrack great and soundtrack i love that song romstein and uh, and, and Nine Inch Nails or, yeah, i, I yeah, do like that yeah. weird character in like last highway that like tramp Bezner? is in the right there yeah yeah that's that's the dude yeah that's the guy who killed his wife it's right? crazy Ro- robert blake that, which is weird because that movie's about bill pullman killing his wife mm-hmm. oh and then he went and uh it's funny lost highway david lynch in interviews has said that it's about the oj trials which is so funny because it's like barely i mean it's about a guy who murders his wife and that's the only similarity but yeah. he's like adamant like yeah it's my movie about the oj trial yeah is that guy's um, name robert blake yeah I mean, yeah yeah and he's very creepy in that movie yeah um, but well that whole killing his wife thing the best character right? killed his whole career and off, right? like, wasn't this too. one of the last films he was in uh, I think so. I don't know him from anything else. Oh, I think he was in the Untouchables, maybe? No, no, I'm thinking of someone else. Couldn't touch him. Um, yeah, but he's fucking great. But yeah, he, David Lynch does this thing. So I, I think he does this, this thing where a lot of movies do like a straight line, right? It's just mm-hmm. like, like here's the story and here's all the plot points and we're just going to go through them to the end. And some guys do that really well. David Lynch does that, but he kind of goes around like he's getting to the end point. He's doing all the things you're supposed to do, but he kind of like does it in a weird way and he kind of does it in a disjointed style. And like, I still think that you can have a point to your movie and a theme and a plot while doing that. I think it's more interesting in a lot of If ways. I was going to watch a, you know me, and if I was going to watch a David Lynch film tonight, <laughs> and I want like the quickest, pleasing, satisfying, entertaining for the dumb. Um, Wild at Heart. Yeah, Wild at Heart. Wild, Wild at Heart's not a bad start. Um, some people would say Blue Velvet. I actually, I it's like Blue Velvet. Good, ah, see, <laughs> that's, it's funny that now I'm not even like, I can't, I, I do. can't even <laughs> finish your thought. <laughs> He's just like, it's bad. Yeah. Stop. Just throw a little uh, a stick in my tire spokes every time I get rolling on something. So but, what, uh, what were you going to say about Blue Velvet? AJ, wait till he's done. So I, I like Blue Velvet. I think Blue Velvet's like his like, first fucking help it. disturbing <laughs> movie where you kind of are watching it just like, what the fuck is happening? This is gross and weird, but odd, oddly, I'm horny at the same time. That's kind of like how Blue Velvet right. works. That's a good intro. You didn't but get horny during that, AJ, Blue Velvet? All the time. There's yeah, some sexy a, stuff. Uh, still hated it. <laughs> I'm horned up right now. But, uh, but yeah, so I, w- I would say I would say Blue Velvet. I would also say, look, my favorite's Mulholland Drive. That is a little like off kilter. So what I don't is know. Mulholland Drive about? Mulholland Drive. Everyone loves that one. Everyone loves that one. That's, yeah, it's not Do, a weird opinion. But you don't. No, nobody said give a weird opinion. I was saying, what what one would you start with? <laughs> An opinion has to be weird. If anything, it's like yeah, I'm saying <laughs> the I'm one sorry. that's. I'm not trying to be aggressive to you like this because. You Weird way of showing it, bro. Yeah. No. Don't apologize uh, after every time you're aggressive. <laughs> just keep being aggressive what and is just this don't the, apologize. This feels like the Frost Nixon interview or yeah. some shit, man. I'm, I'm, you're coming in at me. Why, uh, why, why is treason okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So anyway, uh, I forgot what we were at. So what is Mulholland Drive about? Go ahead. Okay. Mulholland Drive is about um, a young starlet or aspiring starlet. She moves to Hollywood and she, the first part of the, I guess the first two thirds of the movie kind of follow her trying to to find her footing in, in Hollywood. And like she runs into this super hot uh, actress who just got amnesia from a car crash and she tries to help her piece her life back together Mm -hmm. and figure out who she is. And along the way they discover some really haunting dark shit and like it just gets darker and darker. And then there's like, I won't spoil what it is, but uh, two thirds of the movie, there's a complete left turn Mm -hmm. that puts a lot of things into context about the first two thirds of the movie where they're trying to like, basically uncover this mystery it's almost like a really twisted like nancy drew movie but there's you know sex violence there's that weird creepy dumpster monster what's your favorite um, nancy <laughs> drew movie and, uh, nancy drew movie yeah uh Who is nancy, nancy myers drew? i don't know yeah oh, you never read the it's like the hardy boys and nancy yeah. drew oh yeah. she's she's a no. teenage female detective yeah solves crimes yeah anyways uh Mulholland drive Great oh, fucking movie, yeah. and uh, it is de- it is considered amongst like critic circles as like one of the best movies of the two thousands, if not the best movie of the two thousands. It's considered like David Lynch's masterstroke, you know, like it's all these things. So uh, that's a good one. But Wild at Heart also is that's like David Lynch's version of a Tarantino movie, kind of. Yeah, like, okay, like, I see that. Like like you know? cool Southwest. <coughs> Yeah, like a, 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 it's a fun. The dialogue's kind of zippy and zappy, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of violence and sex. Written by Barry <laughs> Guilford. Yeah, looking at Josh like he's supposed to go. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gary yes, Guilford's was. writings yeah. are all over that paper. AJ <laughs> B, B Gilf, love the guy of the Guilfords. Yeah, yeah. read <laughs> some books. Are our are our. Our audience. That was hard to watch and listen to. That was, it's weird to insult our audience when you're fucking stuttering. Yeah, <laughs> get it yeah. together, AJ. Read some books. I see why you are a film Bugs. reviewer because you can can't stutter when you're typing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, AJ. It feels like we're coming down on you, but uh, it's just because you're shitting all over her. Which I love it because like if we have a guest. And I like if somebody came on here mm-hmm. and was talking about some shit I didn't care about, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably be the same way. But yeah. I feel like with David Lynch, I, I'm so in the middle because I've never seen any of his films. It's just fun to watch you and Andrew going at it. But I, mean, uh, I, I think it's but, like a cool look. I like Lynch films. That's the thing. I will say yeah. it is a cool look because I haven't seen any of it. But uh, it's like you mentioned Rammstein earlier. Listen to me. <laughs> yeah. I never listened to Rammstein, but it's a cool look. Do Haas does roll. That's, that's a good song. Oh, Dude, my yeah. God. Somebody showed uh, Eric showed me uh, a Rammstein video I've never seen before, and it blew my goddamn mind. I hate that band now that I think about it. Yeah, it's like very disturbing. Sound. Yeah. It's like scary music. You're like, how is yeah. that even, even I possible? could see why they would have a song on a David yeah. Lynch soundtrack. It, it's perfect, yeah, for his for Lost Highway. Lost Highway is another good one, but that one's What's this? so I weird. Think, I think I Lost know. Highway could have been like a Look good 90-minute film. Oh, it's like two and a half or something. Yeah, it's like well, his th- movies are long. I mean, that that, but I kind of feel like that's intentional because it, it mm-hmm. it's like a slow burn to what he's trying to do. I like I, I like the idea of Lynch where it's like, I I make what I want, you mm-hmm. know. But like, I don't think they make entertaining films. Uh, well, I mean, I disagree. I think that like my my one argument, the one thing I try and tell people to get them interested in his movies is like at the end of the day, I could go on and on about all oh, the fucking aspect ratio of the, you know, yeah, I could get sure. real technical yeah, and yeah. film snobby, but like oh, yeah. overall, they're just like fucking entertaining. I really think that they're you constantly never know what's going to happen next, and when it does, it's genuinely upsetting or thrilling or funny or so I don't know. And and you should watch them with like one or more people i think they're yeah. good date night movies you're with a lady because then really? she's gonna Depends get all on creeped how out she is. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she I has leg tattoos girl or if she's yeah. the lost highway kind of yeah. gal <laughs> she's got more than one leg tattoo you're in buddy you know yeah. that's the type of girl she has more than one leg tattoo mahala drive yeah <laughs> <laughs> mahala 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 <laughs> avenue i can't wait to check it out i have two tickets to lost highway i uh when like over a decade ago for sure i remember i used to just two like 
David Lynch and oh, like cool. LCD sound system are like two things that I just half ass paid attention to. Oh, nice. And I was like, is James Murphy the. I thought James Murphy and Dave Lynch were the same guy at first. <laughs> That's so <laughs> funny. Just because if you look at uh, earlier pictures of James Murphy, his hair is kind of like up in that way. Yeah. Yeah. And I hardly paid attention. And I was like, is this guy a director, a musician? I don't know. I'm going to go listen to some Weezer. Was with these homies. You know, just like. <laughs> what and if then I Lynch thought Stephen Lynch, the guy who's saying, yeah, whatever. I was like, is that Dave Lynch? <laughs> Shit, man. I haven't thought about that song in a long ass time. You go, unlike David's work, I love Steven. His brother Steven's work is incredible. Nah, yeah, like, You're like, is that the guy who played for the Yankees? No, it's Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> You're like, I don't fucking know. Well. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's just some kind of multi talented director, actor, singer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, incredible. David Lynch from the Foo Fighters. Yeah, I'm into it. Um, <laughs> you know that song, though, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to listen to a guy. I used to, I used to work with a guy who would play that song. Long at tequila. work all the time and I, he I would just it was like every time I worked with him he'd play it and he'd like recite the lyrics the whole time and I've never wanted to punch someone while they were driving a, a vehicle more you were like, like hey man I need really need you help moving yeah, yeah. this box and he was like yeah whatever literally he'd do stuff like that and I was like bro I'm <laughs> about to whatever your God face into the so fucking much. ground yeah yeah <laughs> you know I did states so of whatever let's talk about that yeah. instead <laughs> yeah. that's a better topic really. is he uh, making any movies right now that you're stoked about he might be done with movies man and the last thing he made was um, he did Twin Peaks The Return, mm -hmm. um, which was on Showtime. That's some people he, he said in interviews that that's technically a movie, which is funny because it's like 18 hours of <laughs> it's like an 18. It's like 18 episodes. Wait, wait, would you go see that in theaters? Uh, you know, and maybe. Like, like put up. Of course he would. He's a yeah. David Lynch fan. Yeah, I'd dude. see it in theaters. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if I could go to the bathroom here and there. But yeah, that'd be good. Um, yeah. I mean, I like I like surrealism to a point. Well, <laughs> He just kind of breaks it. And I guess that point is every David Lynch movie. Yeah. I see. I yeah, like you, uh, like there's other directors that you, uh, is there any other directors, are there any other directors that you don't like as much as you don't like David Lynch? Because you seem to really not like David Lynch films. Yeah. I think Zemeckis is also like kind of like. Oh, what the fuck? Who's that? Back to the Future, Castaway. Oh, okay. Yeah, but also like fuck, you AJ? have like. Uh, those are the Forrest movies Gump? of our times. Yeah, what? Yeah. You're hating on Gump? Yeah. You don't like Forrest Gump. This guy's trying to no, trump I Gump don't. over here. I actually don't. I like Forrest Gump? I, this is an entertaining Dude, movie, man, but it's a bad did. movie. This guy's a, a Forrest a, chump is what I said. Yeah. How could you Boo. say it's good, but it's a bad movie? But what, 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 what about <laughs> Welcome to Marmon? What uh, about Forrest Gump? <laughs> what about it? Like, what, what do you want? What do you want from, like, this review? Like, I want to force it, you to like it. <laughs> Zemeckis it, is probably like the it, opposite it, of Lynch, you know. If, if the sexes were changed, you would you would hold you would have what? exceptions to this movie. If what was changed? If the sexes were changed. What like, do you mean? Like 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 if Forrest Gump was a woman, you would not like this movie. What? How could you the make hell? up an assessment like that and then tell me what I would think in an alternate universe? <laughs> and just that's uh, your argument. <laughs> hey buddy, Forrest Gump is a woman, it's called Eat Pray Love. And that movie fucking rules. Okay. You're like so, if Forrest Gump had a real retarded guy in it, you yeah. wouldn't dig it. Do you remember like the scene where like he comes in his towel? Yeah, it's one of the funniest scenes <laughs> of my fun. life. What if a girl about? jizzed on a towel, I would think I would have loved it just as much, depending well, then, on the performance. Well then I take I take I take my review back. Apology accepted. Yeah, See, absolutely. Andrew, that's how you do it. It's good when people can admit they're wrong and also not be super embarrassed that they just lost a debate horrifically yeah. Yeah, on it, you know? You yeah. You're that. taking it in stride, but... And, you know, I'm sorry I got too defensive about Gump, but I've just, in my... Uh, I don't know. It's been out for what forty years. I've never heard in thirty years. I've ever heard anybody say they don't like Gump. Oh, really? That's it's like impossible. a fun hot take people have now. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I could see how a newer. Film. I'm. I'm sure newer generations would, would piss me off if they saw it and they were like finding a ways to try to cancel Gump or something. Yeah, but, you I'm, know, I'm dumb as fuck, and like I hope I could. I could like run for a living. You know. Don't call yourself dumb as fuck, AJ. Come on, I mean, come on. I mean, you're no Forrest Gump. That guy did some incredible fucking <laughs> shit. And I mean, you suck at ping pong. Well, yeah. but, I mean, it's not like you can yeah. still do other stuff. The guy can run. He can dangle. I don't know yeah. if you remember that. <laughs> can Wasn't you dangle? That's nice of you to say. AJ can no, dangle the Forrest fuck out of some that. windows. Dude. Yeah. He's been dangled a few times. <laughs> okay, all right. What other films does he do that you don't like? Zemeckis? Oh, okay. So, like, he does, like, these weird, like, CGI films where, like, the people in them are just so weird to look at they're like very plastic like he did like polar express and like never seen it 
But I know Forrest Gump was in it. You did like a Christmas Carol. <laughs> yeah, th- those movies aren't great. I mean, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. Well, I, I'll give this director like he's trying like to do things with technology since like Roger Rabbit. You know, mm-hmm. he did Roger Rabbit too. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. he's never like gotten it again you know look yeah. at when you actually look at the movies he did make that are fucking badass you got you got back to the future mm-hmm. who yeah. framed roger rabbit forrest gump castaway flight you seen flight you never seen denzel's flight. best flight. performances you never saw flight denzel's yeah. an alcoholic yeah. pilot oh, oh man. no but wasn't that like fucking like, that sounds uh, good yeah it's so good. <laughs> it just didn't that suck you're not gonna watch any watch it. It. It <laughs> y'all are gonna watch any lynch movies you're just gonna go home watch you'll go home and watch forrest gump you know let's <laughs> you, do know, a little you know which, love which gump. movie that, that, that i did love that like, i was surprised about was uh, uh sully gump. oh yeah that's all right but flight's Sully's better a, yeah that was the guy who landed the plane right yeah no, you were man, surprised that movie rolled. so th- he works a lot with tom hanks huh Guess. You're gonna act yeah. like you didn't name three movies with Tom Hanks in them just now. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, Castaway, Forrest Gump, and uh, well, he didn't do Sully, but yeah, I mean, I just really wanted to find um, a, a director that you both hate together. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Soderbergh. Uh, I, I, you like I, him? Okay, like, I love so his like, work. I, I, I kind of <laughs> think like he's my Lynch. Oh, what the fuck? Where, where oh, wow. <laughs> Bro, we need to have a part two yeah. where I annihilate you. I come back for Don't seconds. Don't try some shit. Like, sometimes it's classy. Sometimes it's trashy. Like, it's really yeah. cool. He's got some good stuff. I do like Ocean. I like the Oceans movies. I've never seen any of the all. Oceans movies. Ocean's 13 is an underrated movie. Great movie. Is yeah. that the one with all the females in it? No, that's Ocean's 8. Oh, okay. I need yeah. to see that one. I, I'm, I'm going to watch it. Why didn't you give Ocean's 8 a crack? Yeah. Oh, no. I like how someone, <laughs> they were like, we got to do an all ladies Ocean's 11. And then one executive was just like, yeah, but let's make it 8. We can't have that yeah, many yeah. ladies hanging out together. <laughs> <laughs> I think the 8 is enough. not that big. <laughs> yeah, 8's enough for the lady version. <laughs> but Soderbergh, man, he's, he's, he's doing some shit. Um, yeah, like yeah. Stuff. What's the guy's name who did Hereditary and all those horror movie films? Ari Aster. He's he's oh a hundred percent influenced Aster, by man. David Lynch a hundred percent. Aster fucking love Aster. Ari That's a Aster. Cool. And he's influenced by David Lynch hundred oh, percent. Everything you, that I love is like Lynchian. Yeah, but just not Lynch straight up. Yeah, yeah. You don't like Lynch straight up, but you mm. like the people who are like the first season of True Detective. Like that's that's, that's that was Lynchian. Lynch. That, that's Lynchian. Oh, okay. You know, like, like you'd, you'd, so many things in movies, like, I, I guarantee were, like, influenced by him, even if people aren't cognizant of it. Like, there's so many, like... He's like the he, Weezer of music. <laughs> <laughs> of, of art. He's like the Weezer of directors. He's the I get it. He's the Pinkerton. Yeah, he's the Pinkerton. It's <laughs> the Mechus' Blue Album. Yeah, some uh, people love his work, some people don't, but they love, you know, the Taken Back Sundays of the world. <laughs> Soderbergh is Hurley. Every once in a while. I explain it to the emo kids listening uh, to this, who Dave Lynch is. Thank right. you, emo kids. We love you. <laughs> yeah yeah anything anytime you watch a movie there's like a there's this that ominous feeling but you're not sure why there's like a low tone mm-hmm. uh score happening it's like boom, you know that kind of thing like Ooh. i guarantee a lot of that's influenced by lynch and like what he did with movies man like mm. he's he's i don't know i i would give him a shot chris aj i know you're already i'll you give know. him a shot i'm in a, a place in my life where i feel like it, you know how it comes in waves for me where i just like all right i want to watch a lot of movies yeah. right now i'm it's there tough. Uh, David Lynch, dude, are any of his uh, films streaming on any of the platforms so that I have? Criterion? Criterion has uh, uh, Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. Is I Criterion think, free? Where did no, I have, have an account. <laughs> it is I, not. I have an account you can use if you want. But, um, but yeah, like, uh, Wild at Heart, you actually can't find what? anywhere. Could like you, you click have on to that like, one that says what? Um, you can find it Jack on Blu-ray do. at no. my house. Okay, there you go. Oh, I thought it said what to Jack to. It says what did Jack do. <laughs> to the right? Twice. Well, honestly, if we're talking Lynch, right there. plenty of... Plenty that. of uh, that's a cool album cover, or a movie cover, but yeah. there it is. I don't know. Is that from... I guess that's something... Maybe a short film he did or oh something. look at this it has a freaking monkey just walking around with the suit on. Please. I have never seen this one. I look don't know at this, this. One. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, watch the fucking David Lynch monkey movie, I guess. That'd what be did good... Jack do? Even Andrew so, Murphy, so, so who's Murph the Doc. biggest David Lynch <laughs> film in the world, you, fan in the you, world, you have has an not impression, seen... right? I have an impression of, of Lynch. Fucking yeah. talking. Uh, I mean, it, he just talks like he's like, he's like from the Midwest, and he's just he got... talks like this. He always talks like this. I, I don't really have one. I mean, it That's sounds like the guy good. from the B-52s more than it does Lynch yeah, anytime yeah, it does I try like... and do it. 
We're he's all like, wearing matching towels. Yeah. Look, this is uh, the trailer to What Did Jack Do? <laughs> okay, I'm digging this I love for reasons this shit, I dude. can't explain. And that is the essence of Lynch. You don't like this, AJ? Nah, it's fine. What the hell is wrong? You don't like pure me. joy injected into your veins? I guess mm. not. This monkey's singing a Sinatra song badly. Yeah. Remember that? Like, what the, about the, that? Is not awesome. Do you remember the Basement He's so Jacks? Cute. <laughs> yeah, the Basement do. Jacks is that a band? Yeah. Like, oh, it's on Netflix. Netflix. All right. Okay. All right. So we know what Murph will be doing tonight. Hell yeah, man! Jacking what did you? Ja- I'm sure <laughs> I'll find a way to, to get turned Jack on by it. it. I'm sure I'll get horny at some point. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that always happens in my yeah. day. Keep us posted. We'll check back on the next episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do another daily beat. You know, <laughs> yeah. as soon as I watch this movie. You know That's why we call about. him that. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I think where are we at right now? Uh, we're about to hit an hour. All right. Nice. Well, we're coming to an end. Before we do uh, come to an end, uh, give us, well, first, let's go ahead and do the closing statement on David Lynch. Yeah. Let us know, uh, for people like me who haven't watched the David Lynch film, um, not for people like AJ who already hate him. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, I thought you were going to be my ally today. And then yeah, maybe, I thought, yeah. Chris, maybe you maybe didn't. I th- feel like I heard you say once that you don't like his movies or something, but I guess that was someone else. It was someone else because um, okay. I've never even watched his movies. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, cool, cool. I like his band. <laughs> yeah, so this didn't go as I thought it would, but um, I think I ended up looking way better uh, than AJ, so I'll take it. Uh, no, I think, look, I already kind of said m- my piece. Like, he makes just movies that, that they got the goods, they got the violence, they got the sexy ladies, they got the intrigue, mystery. Uh, he does it in an off-kilter way, and some people uh, on paper that that is kind of a turnoff, but I think if you just go in with an open mind, watch with a group of people so you can kind of react to it in real time, it's really fun that way, uh, you're going to have a good time with the movies. Overall, they're just entertaining as fuck, and that's All that's right. what you go to the movies for, folks. Love it. Yeah. Where can the people see you? AJ, wait. Well, let's get to okay, the care okay, meter. Okay. God damn! <laughs> no, I'm no, the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> no, I'm just right. joking. Here's, here's uh, the thing. Uh, care me? Okay. I'm gonna give you a ten. I'm gonna give Whoa. you a ten. What the fuck? How do you? Are you just okay. not respecting the care meter right now? I am. I am because, like, I implore all our listeners to watch art house films. But this They're is incredible. about how much you care about it. I, I guess g- that's a I ten. G- I'm not gonna debate. Yeah, I, I, your I care about this. I I love it, but like. You can do better than Lynch. He's just the most popular guy. Well, I don't think he understands how the care meter works anymore. <laughs> well, well said. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess the Beatles weren't good at music then, if we're going by that metric. They weren't. Sure. <laughs> no. they, they weren't. They, they sucked. Weren't. I, 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 hate, I hate Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts. You're a, you're a piece that of that shit. Fucking yeah, I mean, sucks. they were great for their time, but music's improved and Lit is a yeah, better band than the Beatles. Can you cut them in my? Can you cut them in my? But I don't know. But I don't know. But I don't know. But I don't do not What the I fuck? That ain't lit. What the that is, <laughs> that's an AJ original jam. Okay, He's just look, 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 look. I implore people to watch art house films. Go watch some weird, weird ass shit. But like Lynch isn't your guy. But you still give it a 10. Wrong. Right? Still give it a 10. <laughs> okay. Wrong. I'm going to give it a five only because uh, I haven't seen a film. And I'm going to, you know, I care enough to check them out. And who knows? I could be stumbling upon a batch of great movies and I'm going to have a fucking You're blast. Not. Uh, or I could watch him fucking hate him, not even make it that far in and totally agree with AJ and be like, man, AJ was right. That's what agreeing with AJ looks like. <laughs> but uh, right now I'm going to give it a five, but that could easily go to a 10 or a one. Uh, I'll keep the care heads posted because I know that they, they, listen, they listen to every goddamn word that drips out of our mouth every yeah. fucking week. The subscriber they numbers are through the it. roof right now. <laughs> Yeah, you should just have me on every week, and I can just tell AJ how he's wrong about movies. Yeah. You just stop by. I'm even not, though. Like, guys. I'm really good at movies. It'd be like Roger. It'd be like Ebert and Roper if Roper just sucked at his job and Ebert was always winning. <laughs> yeah, he's Ebert. He's saying that in case you're not following. <laughs> and you're Roper. Oh, and I'm Oscar. <laughs> Why'd you, you say? I, 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 didn't, I didn't offend you like that. Oh, Why stop. That I love you, buddy. Oh, no, don't fall for his shit. He's playing you, Andrew. He's not, he's not as sweet. I didn't for a second. He's wild at heart. <laughs> 
That's my deal. He's uh, a fucking eraser head, this guy. <laughs> Andrew, uh, we love having you on, buddy. Uh, where could the people find uh, find you? Uh, and you can, what do you have coming up? Oh, uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram, uh, shut up underscore Murphy. Uh, that's where I just post all my shows and stuff. Um, we got the joke of painting coming back to the Velveeta Room. Uh, mm, excellent the, show. Yeah, thanks. Uh, second Friday of every month at the uh, Velveeta Room. And um, I also do a show called Hot Take Olympics. That's the fourth Friday of every month at Hotel Vegas. All quality shows, uh, quality dude. Andrew, thanks so much for being on the podcast. Right back at you, Chris. I <laughs> appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll cut that little sarcastic right back at you. Out. Thank I you. I love it. I no. it was good. Well, we're going to cut you out, too. <laughs> you could go love it in obscurity where you will, got, where, where you will live for your entire life. Uh, guys, you can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Hi Chris Tellez. Um, my album recording. Recording is September 9th and 10th at Cap City in the Red Room, 8 o'clock. Plenty of tickets still available. So uh, so let's go ahead and (laughs) let's plump that room up. (laughs) And um, Shit's Golden, our monthly show that's usually the first Monday of every month, will actually be September 19th for September. And then we'll go back to the first Monday at Ballroom um, at Spider House. Um, and also make sure to subscribe and comment and like the podcast. You could go to comedyfrequency.com, subscribe to all the podcasts, but if only you're only going to pick one, I mean, pick ours. Um, also what was that last thing I was, oh yeah. And you can subscribe to our podcast now on Spotify and on, uh, iTunes and everywhere podcasts can be found. They are updated. We finally got those bugs, uh, fixed. And um, AJ, what do you have going on? Last but not least, keep your ear to the ground. Because the story's in the soil. <laughs> 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 That's terrible.